Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to XWC Map 4. This is by JH Height. It is a phenomenal map of uh, hard strafe, but hopefully not as hard as last week. It's going to be quite difficult to get through, but I will show you which ways you want to be going. So without further ado, let's do the beginner route. So straight off of the jump at the start, come round this side, keep your speed up, keep coming round this corner, jump off the front here, and then head and try to get off of this ramp. Just like that, you might make it, you might not, it depends on spacing, but the teleporter will bring you out. Uh, whichever way it happens. Then you want to use these uh, side walls. You're going to have to double jump. If you just run at them and then jump so that you go ba-dump, then you'll go up and you'll get across to the next bit. Same thing here, just ba-dump up onto this, get across the gap. There are some more and less generous places to fall off. Like for instance, if you fall off just after this corner, you will be put back to the start of the corner. So that's pretty brutal. But coming through here, just want to aim right there. And you'll go up. Here, you can jump this and go up, but realistically you're probably going to end up falling down here. Then coming through here, there is uh, warp zones on the side. We'll get into those a little bit later, but realistically just come straight forwards. Jump here, aiming for the side. And try not to land on the ramp, try to land on the flat to lose less speed. Now a little bit where I did a little bit of trolling. Uh, was here. This is a, warp, a bounce pad, a velocity pad, so you keep your speed and you don't have to avoid these little stars. Absolutely beautiful room. Just holding forwards through here to angle yourself and just look where you're going. Try to get a little bit of strafing in, but you should be able to get round everywhere. It's very big, so round everywhere with W turns and then just nip through there and you are into the finish. Put the time limit up a bit. Yeah, so that is the uh, easiest route through this map. Teleporters, obviously useful, but there you go. Let's take a look at some of the other options that you have. First off, there's a practice mark here uh, for you to go to the second half of the map. Yes, the time has started, but you won't be able to use it. So this is what I meant by the warp zones. You can walk back to the start here. Next little bit, if we go straight ahead, all the way straight ahead we can jump over this box hit that but we don't want to and then that is potentially the shortest route to get out here and if you can I'm gonna have to no clip ah, I didn't get it right so you come off of there and then you get up here and this bit just up here is slick so no clip so yeah if you can then slick in through there Next start that you might possibly want to do is drop down here, get round here, bounce up to here, and then here's the interesting bit of it. It's that you would have to double jump off of there and get to that ramp, which obviously the teleporter does for you, but yeah, it's a pretty tricky one to get done. This one I think is even trickier. Getting round this corner with speed so that you can take advantage of that booster to get some speed coming out here and trying to get across here. That's going to be a pretty difficult one. Or potentially, you know, going up to the slick there. After that route, we could... And I think this is going to be the main, sort of, for most people route. Is just to come around here and get your speed and flick it like that. So, that's what it is. This bit, as I said in the beginner bit, you're just trying to get your double jumps correct and get your spacing correct. Flinging it down here. Left and right are exactly the same, so do not worry about those. This bit round here. And then when you're coming to here, you could go off of the centre to fling yourself out. And like I said, you could go up here. Come on, come on, there we go. And you get the teleporter up into the second bit. So we'll go back to the start and we'll just take a look at some of the other routes that are potential. We might go for this one. You could potentially go off the edge here and still get this, which could be useful for going, you know, you bring yourself really diagonally across. That could be an option. I've got absolutely no idea. I am really bad at routing, so, you know, I can I can get you a route that will work, but other than that, I'm just pointing out what is possible. And I've got no idea what is fast or isn't fast. Uh, obviously, the spacing on this one's going to be pretty tight to get that ramp up. But then you can adjust yourself for that one. Oh, no, I'm still not making it. So we'll come in here. 
If we double jump off of this, then we're getting some boost off of this uh, little velocity pad. Which can mean that we can boost ourselves to even further. And you can get straight into that black room. Now, JH has said, so you can go in this side. And in the side. Um, yeah, it's quite an interesting option, this. That you just keep going through the warp zones. Gaining speed, bounce off of here, into the warp zone, up until the point where, you know, I'm just going to keep gaining speed with the simple options of gaining speed, which is to go around here and do that a few times. I think I now have enough speed, and then I'm just going to launch it straight into this room, but that's going to be dodgy to get around here. Yeah, but it's how much time do you waste, because, you know, you've seen how much time I just spent getting through there and getting the extra speed up. And I've only just beaten my time that I did with the beginner route, so it's a pretty tricky, pretty tricky line to get through there, really. But we've got the practice loop, so you'll be able to get in here, give yourself a bit of practice. The speed is exactly the same coming through this practice as it is, because you just get the teleporter. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind, that the speed will be the same. Could also gain some speed from that. We'll see what people are doing. We'll see how it goes and what sort of routes people are going to take for this week. Because it is going to be very interesting. This bit fairly simple. It's just a very esoteric strafe. And yeah, that seems to be about it. It's quite a difficult map with a lot of routing options. With a lot of different ways that you can do each section. Getting stuck on every ledge. Um, it's going to be a difficult one to practice. But the practice loop is quite good. And yeah, I hope everybody enjoys this map because it is a beautiful looking map. There should be some slightly better lighting uh, when we get into the map. This is a preview build that I'm having to play on right now. But yeah, routes are going to be interesting. What route people are taking, I can predict that there will be quite variant uh, for this week. And then some very simple ones, because it's going to depend on your spacing. Oh yeah, and you can fall down here as well to get through. But yeah, get a little bit of boost off of the part that says plus 25 ups. And then get through the teleporter. And then, yeah, it's all about, all about the gaining of speed and bounces and seeing where you can go. So thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you on the server. I hope you enjoy this map. It's an incredibly good map. Flows really well when you get it going. And we'll see what people can do. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week.